Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am doing a quick video. I have been so bad about keeping up with my Hoya alphabet series and today I'm doing the plants with the letter K. There's only nine of them and I am so glad I pulled them because I need to work on them. <laughs> There's um, a couple that have scale so I'm I'm really glad that you know I decided to film so that I can help them but um let's just get started I would love to know in the comments below which Hoyas with the letter K you have in your collection so I guess let me start with the typical OG ones and I have Hoya Carrii and she is just growing so wonky and I honestly even though she gave me a new tendril and it's giving me new leaves, I feel like I have lost love for it. So I'm, I'm, you know, doing some things to create my Etsy shop. So I do feel like I will be saying goodbye to it. I'm not sure yet. I did do propagations for it, as you can see right there, but I just feel like it doesn't spark joy anymore. And I think I'm going to, because my sister loves the Hoya Carrii, I will make a propagation for her and yeah, and just kind of sell it. <laughs> um, so first plant is Hoya Carrii. And then I made the mistake of getting the Carrii variegata and just got the the one single leaf i'm surprised that it have lasted this long because i've had this in my collection for now i want to say two and a half years and i'm still alive and kicking when i first purchased it i did not think and you know when you buy a leaf that's what you do you buy a leaf when it comes to them so i guess I do love the Carrii variegata more, and I it wouldn't be something that I would want to get rid of if I had a full plant. So, but yeah, this is the second one in my collection, and if you do like this Hoya, just make sure that you get an actual full plant and not just a leaf cutting. <laughs> um, so that's plant number two. I do have, of course, the OG Miss Crimson Queen. I do love this Hoya. I do have it in a south facing window and she's getting leaf burn. And let me show you how that looks. So I am going to have to move her because sadly um, some of her leaves got burned and I feel like the it has been very cloudy and whatnot but when I first moved here, the, the sun was pretty strong and I burned a lot of my Hoyas. So I did add like shades to kind of help out, but my house is mostly um, south facing windows. Everything you see, it's um, I have four and counting the kitchen, five south facing windows and it was just too strong but this is my Hoya Crimson Queen and I do love her. I have this one and I have a Crimson Queen that has a lighter green that my mother gifted me and I love them both so much. So yeah, Hoya Crimson Queen and she's a beauty. I just, oh, it just kills me when I see sunburn on them. But, you know, oh, you live and learn. My, my Hoyas had lived in artificial lighting for the time, the, the length of time that I have owned them. So when you come to a home and you're excited about, you know, having south facing windows, I did not adjust them. I just kind of placed them there. And so it was my mistake. And I have here a very thirsty Hoya Croniana. So I ended up getting this one. 
I ended up getting this one at Gardino's Nursery. I love Gardino so much. Um, I She needs a water. To me, I feel like she might need a different planter because even though she's, in my opinion, a beautiful Hoya, it feels like she does not look pretty here. Like, what do you think? Like, it just feels like this planter does not give it justice at how beautiful it actually is. And she actually is longer. Let me see. It's just that I kind of... Oh my gosh, it has a dead leaf. So she's longer, but I just tend to, any Hoya that it's kind of long, I tend to wrap them around so that they can go ahead and their area roots kind of stick to the ground and grow from all different directions. But I guess, I guess she does look pretty. I don't know. What do you guys think? And I feel she's very thirsty. The leaves are very, very, very dry, but this tendril right here, it's growing new leaves and they look so flipping cute. So I love it. I do keep this one in a north facing window and I water it once a week. I underwater once a week. And all I do is I have the little saucer that I ended up getting from, I think it was Lowe's. I top fill it and that's it. That's all I do. And then I fertilize, I want to say once a month. But yeah, she's just living her life, living her best life. But I do love her. When I ended up getting this one when there was a hype for them. And I don't regret it. I don't regret it. And I do need to water her because she is thirsty. Oh my gosh. Her leaves are like paper thin right now. <laughs> okay. So chores. Chores after the video. Okay, so I only have five more to go. So I have here Hoya Kanya Kumariana. This one I absolutely love. So I ended up getting this little planter in a previous, uh, and I unboxed it in a previous video. I do love the look of it. Isn't she cute? So she hasn't grown much. Um, for me we'll see how it does because i think when i ended up getting her she just kind of went into shock so i honestly it hasn't done anything for me since i i got it and it does look fuller than when i first got it because i chopped and prop which i'm glad i did because this is like super cute i don't know i love it so much i love wonky leaves and this is just uh, to me this is breathtaking every time i see this i think it's breathtaking um do you have one do you like it as much as i do i just uh, i love my hoya so much <laughs> i really do and i'm so glad that i have this one in my collection it's probably one of my favorites i like my my taste go back goes back and forth because I do love giant leaves that are crazy. I do love splashes. I do love small leaves. Like I just love it all. It's um I just love Hoyas. I just I really am Hoya crazy. I'm Hoya nuts and I ended up purchasing a few more. I had stopped purchasing for some time and I went back to purchasing but I'm more selective right now. And also, I'm also looking through my collection to see what I'm getting rid of because I will be um, selling and gifting, um, gifting to my family and selling some plants on Etsy. Um, I have gifted quite a bit of plants to my neighbors. <laughs> when I first moved here, there were some plants that were not bringing me any joy. And so both my neighbors, I just gifted a bunch of plants. And then now when I say, hey, what do you think about this one? They're like, no, it's okay. We have enough. <laughs> um, but isn't that the, the truth when you have like all these plants and you, you have really good neighbors and maybe family around? You just want to 
like spread the joy. <laughs> so that's how I feel. So I have the next one, which is Hoya to be determined. Hoya Kentiana. It was sold to me as Kentiana, but to me, it just looks like a Shepardi eye. But because it was sold to me as a Kentiana, we're going to call it that. I don't know if it is. I don't know if it is, to be honest, but since that's how it was sold to me, we're going to call it that. And I think she looks beautiful. I put tape on some of the plants that I have if they're like hard to get from the planter itself. But isn't doesn't she look cute? And I ended up getting this planter at... Hobby Lobby and I'm, well, it, I'm using it as a cash bow because it's in Lega and oh my gosh I love it so much. Look at those colors It's so earthy. It's so earthy looking lately. I've been obsessed with um, looking for really interesting looking planters and I'm just I'm having a lot of fun going and ticking and thrifting and I'm probably gonna film next time because I'm doing it every week or every other week so I'm going to tag you guys along at some point. <laughs> but yeah, this is my next one. And I just have a few more to go. But isn't she gorgeous here? Like I felt like she did not look great until I placed her here. And I don't know. I just, I do love the way it looks. But yeah, Chipper DI. To be determined, Chipper DI. <laughs> okay, three more to go. So... Let me get one of the OGs here because she's so flipping big. So this one, most people have it, which is Miss Crimson Princess. <laughs> um, so she looks so cute. She's giving me new growth. Look how beautiful it grows um, with that beautiful pink variegation. She, where I have her, she's not getting enough lighting. So she is getting just simple green leaves which i don't mind what i do when it comes oh there's a dead leaf um so what i do oh there's a second dead leaf <laughs> let me see if there's any more oh my gosh okay two that's not bad i so said this one which is freaking heavy it's a beauty she grows super beautifully. She has new growth right here. I don't know if you're able to see it. Um, these are new leaves, but without variegation. A humongous tendril. Um, I keep this one in my office, and she's so beautiful. I do want to get a stand that it's a little um, taller than where she is right now because she's not getting enough lighting because of that. Um, Man, I'm just like pruning and doing everything. You see this dead right here? So I, I just need to cut it. I go once a week and look at my plants and then I just kind of trim anything dead. I remove any dead leaves or whatever just to kind of help with pest control and just in general. Um, but she's a beauty. She's an OG. I love the look of her because she's growing all wonky um and she doesn't give me any trouble she gets bottom watered and she just looks pretty <laughs> and i do the same thing I, I probably this one i probably feed every few months i honestly anything in soil i tend to take longer to feed oh that was a work <laughs> that was freaking heavy because that's like um 10 to 12 inch freaking planter full of soil um okay so i have the last two so one of the ones that i have left is sick i realized that it has scale i don't know what it is about my hoyas during winter but in winter my hoyas get scale this is the second year in a row that i have noticed that my hoyas get scale and i do treat them um I, I think you guys will see the video on pest control and what I do that works. So what I mentioned in that video um, regarding pest control, I'll link it down below. But I go over what I do when it comes to scale, which is extremely easy. 
and it helps me get rid of them really fast but I'm gonna leave that one for last because I'm just kind of so angry <laughs> that I didn't notice it before and that one I keep it in my IKEA cabinet so I'm I'm really hoping that my plants are okay but this one is um Croniana black and this one I definitely overpaid for her and she I'm still looking for a planter where she's gonna look beautiful um you can see that she's with very very healthy roots let me see if I see any more roots this side has a lot more roots but she is living in sphagnum and I have my plants on every single medium um all my Hoyas um a lot of my Hoyas that are in Leca I have been swapping them to sphagnum because with my work schedule I cannot keep up with the flushing and for the benefit of the plant even though I do love um, how easy it is to have them in Leca, I do have to transition them because I don't, I want to do right by them. And if I, you know, if I can't properly, you know, flush them and, and, and feed them, I don't want to make them suffer. And when I left for the weekend to visit my family, which many of you left amazing, um, messages about that when you guys saw the video i left the plants with phil and phil did his very best but after he took care of my plants in leca you know peduncles fell um some were over fertilized some ended up getting nutrient um burned like fertilizing burn like uh, out of my whole collection he missed maybe seven plants to water he did very good with my begonias. He didn't get any water on the leaves because water on a begonia leaves is okay if there's um, good airflow because some of my plants, I do have fans on them. But if you don't have good airflow, it does burn the leaves. In my experience, it just kind of makes them crunchy. So he was extremely good with the begonias. He was extremely good with everything in sphagnum. But when he came to Lega, oof, he, even though he tried, he definitely like hurt my plants. So it was like an eye opener that I can't always take care of them. So I have to make it easier for the people who look after them when I'm not around. And um, another thing is that the peduncle that fell was in my Hoya Patricia, which I have photos of those blooms. It, I am obsessed with them, and it was the only peduncle in the plant. So I'm a little heartbroken, and he felt really like bad about the leaf burn and stuff. I haven't mentioned the peduncle part because he'll feel worse because Phil was like stressing <laughs> like for two full like for two days. He was watering plants. He took it upon himself to remove the plants and like uh, out of the like uh, flush them clean the planter go back instead of just watering whatever needed to be ba filled back up i was like oh dear god why did you do all this i think he wanted to surprise me and what he did is like he made things a little worse <laughs> so he's so cute and i love him so much for that and i can't believe that i'm so blessed to have a guy that knows that I love plants so much that he'll do anything to make me happy and to make sure my plants are okay. So anyhow, that whole tangent <laughs> to go back to the fact that I want to place this one in a beautiful planter um, in the hunt for one. I have a bunch of planters that I have purchased um from vintage stores antique stores like i was having so much fun with that um but i haven't found something that sparks joy for me to put it on because i want like a white one for this one and i do keep this one in an east facing window and it gets you know good morning sun so yeah so my hoya croniana black which i'm obsessed with i pay so much money for this freaking plant in my opinion, I pay like 65 bucks. 
and it was smaller and it was like a strand and it's growing and I'm happy that it is that it's giving me new little leaves as you can see but I hate when I'm not patient <laughs> and I purchase the plant and it's overpriced now I'm more patient in my plant journey but that one I wanted it so badly that I snatched it when I saw it and I think it was on eBay so now last but not least my sick plant which is my Kinegiana Red. And I ended up getting this one from Gardino's Nursery. And she's a cutie pie. And she's giving me a lot of growth. And the only thing is that she has scale. And oh my gosh, like I just scraped it off before the video but I need to go spray it and brush it and just now like kind of treat it because I love her so much and she's a tiny little thing. Um, oh, she needs to be repot. Look, uh, can you see the root? Yeah, so I need to repot her. I know that she's like in this little thing, but she is in a full spectrum light in my Ikea cabinet and I love her so much and she's giving me be beautiful new little leaves and a new tendril and I love this. Um, oh, and there's a new growth here too. Oh, I love it so much. I think this is a beautiful, beautiful Hoya. I love purchasing plants from Gardino. They are always very healthy and very beautiful. And if there's any sort of accidents, they are they're like the best at customer service. Um, many times I just if I think I've only had an issue once where the plant was not very healthy um, because it got stuck in transit and it had nothing to do with them. And they still like gave me credit and i just thought that that was like amazing because it was not up to them and i was rehabbing the plant and going back and forth with them through email and they were giving me suggestions and everything they were like just amazing like i love gardino's nursery and i hope that i get to be you know as good of a seller as they are and you know you can see there's also new little leaves coming there too so this one once it goes you know um and all of this growth comes i just i'm gonna freak out because i know it's gonna look beautiful and i hate when they're having new growth like that to rebob them so i'm gonna wait until the leaves become mature to then do it but oh, i'm just so bummed that it has the scale but yeah, that's pretty much all the Hoyas that I have with the letter K. Um, it's only nine of them. And I would love to know your thoughts. And if you have a different Hoya with the letter K that you recommend or that you love. Um, I honestly want to keep away from recommendations. Because when I fall in love with plants that you guys suggest, I tend to like get them. Um, and right now, I kind of want to just... Um, honestly, I want to stop buying plants, um, unless they're like a really wish list plant. I, um, I need to take better care of myself and I feel like sometimes my time off is going to plant care. And although I love plant care, I do not feel healthy and I need to get to a healthy state in my life. Um, I don't think I've ever mentioned this, and this is just a short little story, but um, I don't even know if I want to bring that up. You know, it'll be in a, in a different video um, because I'm going to start creating vlogs. But, you know, not to leave it there, um, end of 2019, it was a horrible, horrible time for me. And... Something happened where I could not um, take care of myself and I 
mobility was was really hard um i guess i'll just say it um end of 2019 i was in a bad um car accident and And it was a difficult time for my family because, you know, shortly after we, the whole COVID thing, and I was in the doctors and hospitals every week. Um, most of my back was just shattered and I had a, a concussion. My knee got dislocated because I saw it coming and I, clinch into the wheel and I pressed the brake so hard and I was beeping the horn hoping that the person would pay attention. Um, the impact was brutal for my body and it held, surgery was hold, held um, because of COVID. So for a year I could not really walk, I could not really do much, I could not even go to the store um to do groceries i there's a lot of things that like i was just living in pain 24 7 and i still am but over at that time it was just chronic and i finally ended up getting spinal surgery and i had to re relearn how to walk um phil and rachel had to evade me had to um you know, wash my hair and wash me. And it was just an incredible journey. And a lot of my videos that were posted were pre-recorded or whatnot, because during those times it was very difficult. And um, like uh, I gained a lot of weight because I could not move. So, I am not at a healthy weight and I need to take care of myself because even though I eat very healthy, like every day I eat extremely healthy, I, you know, and I do walk a few times a week to help my back. I, I know that I'm not a, at a healthy weight and I need to, um, my doctor said that I could do, um, gentle yoga. And I just need to, you know, focus on, on that. And I am going to do vlogs. And I would love to know if you guys are interested in seeing my journey with my plans and my health and my strength. And I know that was a very personal dump. <laughs> But I'm just, I'm just glad that I'm just glad that I'm here and the plants help me escape the pain. I have PTSD for a very long time. I hate going out because of it, because even if you're a good driver, you don't know how the other one's gonna be. The lady was on her phone and I had nowhere to go. If I, she was going so fast that I figured that she was gonna swap at the last minute on the turning lane and to the right, it was a sidewalk so I couldn't drive there. And I think that's the worst part is that I saw it coming and I couldn't do anything and I couldn't go forward because we were on a red light. She will never know how to change my life. And that's the sad part. So now I kind of hate going out and I get anxiety. And and I'm just fighting to get back to normal. I don't know what I would have done without my plans.
Like, I am so happy that they just, I feel like they kept me going. So sometimes when you guys see me moving like a robot, it's because I'm in so much pain. But anyhow, this wasn't meant to be a sad video. I'm just really happy that because of what happened, I realized who truly loved me. And seeing how my kids took care of me and seeing how my mom took time off that she didn't have to be here and how Phil took care of me. It just, things like that help you realize how lucky you are and I had a really good team of doctors and my work has been so amazing that provided everything ergonomic to help me so anyhow <laughs> Whew. Um, on that note you know just let me know if you guys want to tag along on that journey and I'm trying to swap my schedule so that I can go and on a big walk or try to do stretches and try to take care of myself <laughs> um, I honestly don't know if I'm gonna leave this in the video it's um, So I do want to thank you guys for, you know, watching and for supporting my channel and just being there because those nice comments are so amazing, you know, and they're appreciated and, and I'm going to start posting more. <laughs> Um, because I love this community and I feel like that was another thing that kept me going, feeling like I made so many friends, um, everywhere. <laughs> and, um, okay, so I guess we're done. Until next time, guys. Bye.